Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. We are back in the Hoshino area, and we are doing uh, the Nanjo Stockade. This is the last quest in the Ninja Academy quest chain. So you have to run to Hoshino Town number two and talk to Shuriken. It can be a little rough, especially in a group, because each person will need to talk to him. He tells you his whole story and then will portal you. So the lore behind this quest is that you've proven yourself to be a little bit too good in battling the Tanada for them, and they're going to send you into this dungeon pit. But thankfully, there are some rocks on the wall so we can jump our way out of here. My jump is not very good, um, so if I can do this, probably anybody can. Awesome, we've made it out of our jail cell. I guess there's three of them, or only that one has the rocks though, so if you fall down these, you're just actually dead. That's really funny. Once you're ready, you're going to head into the dungeon. I think it's mostly linear. Although that was a choice, so I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it just loops around. But we are looking for a spectral Nanjo Kaibin, who is going to be the keeper of the door key for us. I think this is it. Yeah, Spectral Nanjo Kaibin. I'm gonna kill this archer so it doesn't kill me. There are walls like this at each of the bosses in this dungeon, so I do recommend, like, using the wall to protect yourself. You can see on the other side of the wall on my map, there's like six other monsters. Oh, Alright. So it's it's easy to get back. You just talk to the NPC again. I'm gonna die again. It's getting owned. I, my melee D is not uh, picking up the slack, you could say. Should have just committed to my summon killing this guy from the beginning. Got 
Got too much health for Void. 15k. I mean, not too much, too much, but... It's four hours later. Alright, so you kill the Kaibin, loot the key off of his corpse, pick up your body, and then the door is right here. You're going to go over the pit. Never want to jump down into pits in this dungeon. Now we're going to go straight. The dungeon is mostly linear, except I believe there's one choice where you're going to want to go right. So here we'll go right. And we're looking for a Kai spectral Kaibi. So here's the wall. That's kind of how you can tell you're at the right spot. I'm gonna continue to go over the wall. I don't know if it actually matters here because it's in the middle of the room. Well, you can see all the mobs on the other side of the wall again, so. Not perfect, but it helps. saved by resisting. Oh, was it so low? fights are fun it's like right on the edge of where like i should be a lot easier if i had someone else with me the first time i ran this i ran it with atw so obviously it was like way easier than this is but this is this is pretty fun all right same thing kill loot upper chamber door key go through the upper chamber door cross the pit all right, so this section is where we're going to be doing some pretty fun jumps. Linear, I think, until you get to them. But you'll get to just like this massive room with these cool things on the wall, and you're just going to, well, hopefully not mess it up. But you see how tall this room is? There's a small rock on the edge here that you can jump up onto, and then you're gonna jump up onto here. From here, you're gonna jump across onto this one. I really like this jump puzzle because it's like big, full power jumps. Of course, I'm not doing it very well, but it still is big, full power jumps. As opposed to a lot of the jump puzzles in other dungeons are like, it's just like constantly shift jumping, which those are fun too. I just think this is like very unique. And if I could aim well, I'd be able to do it, no problem. There's another little rock in the corner here you can shift jump off onto. And you're gonna do another full power. And then
Oh no. Not enough power. Okay. This one. This one's a little bit complicated, so. It's very easy to get into a position where like you're bouncing off monsters too, so you may have to pick off a couple of them. from here we're gonna just jump into the alcove the last part is to make your way through these hallways and fight the boss i think kind of similar to Garain, once you get through the door uh, and start engaging the boss the door is going to close on you but the boss is passive until you engage it but the door, nothing happens with the door until you engage the boss. Oh, that's awesome. Kind of grisly, but awesome. So, like I said before, you can use the walls on all the boss fights to kind of isolate what you have to fight. Someone just gets wrecked on by these guys. I mean, also, I get wrecked by these guys, so it kind of makes sense. I hate getting resistant. Throws off my whole rhythm. Spectral Zycom. So this is the boss, 20,000 health. can't get over these Tanata heads with like the arrows in them stuck to the wall. It's like so brutal. Spectral Nanjo Zycon is desiccated by your attack, so you've got a legendary key and a Spectral Nanjo Zycon's sword that you're going to loot. And it looks like the archers are destroyed when you kill the boss. There are some legendary chests over here for you to use uh, your legendary key on. It's a one-use key. And once you're done with the chests, I'm just going to use a surface portal. The surface portal drops you outside of the Hoshino town where you need to go talk to the NPC to get your reward. Shuriken is in this building again, same one we were in before. Still a hot drop, so just be careful. 
but you're gonna run up and um, the sword he's like you're still alive um, and then rewards you 15,000 luminance 300 million experience and nine trade notes you throw the sword at the feet of shuriken shuriken picks up the sword and wipes the dirt from the blade yeah it's a really fun quest i just love the jump puzzle in that one so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please press that like button please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching bye